Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. hello teacher. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you too. How was your vacation? Um, well, I've got one year older. <laughs> what was it? What is your birthday? Uh, it was on August 6. Oh, wow. So late congratulations for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> So you already finished uh, the platform, right, Araceli? Yes, of course. Did you try to, to ask for the certificate one more time? I did it, but it was not correct. So last time uh, we checked that, we saw that there was a problem with the date, right? Yes, so it was. Did you do it one more time and was it the same problem? Yes, I did it one more time and it was the same problem. Because today uh, they told us that the, the problem was apparently fixed. So I don't know oh. the, the, prob uh, the problem or the issue you had at the platform was already resolved. So I don't know that oh. so I was gonna ask you because I don't know if the other ones they already finished, but in case, any of you already finished that? So please, can you help me with that? Just trying to ask for the certificate. If in at any case, you're still having the same problem, please let me know through the group so I can notify that to human resources. Okay, I will do it tomorrow. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I, I was just telling you because I mean, I, I, cannot, I cannot do it because even though I have access to the platform, uh, the access that I have is as a teacher, is not as a student. So I cannot mm -hmm. click on that part so I cannot see. So you're the only ones that have access to that. That's why I wasn't oh. tell you so you can do that favor for me and we can both share the information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but does it mean that our diploma will be in virtual? Apparently, apparently it's going to be virtual. But mm. what, what it's supposed to be done is the correction of the date. Because as you remember last time, we saw that it said like 2019. So yes. we're not on that year, as you know. So it's supposed to say the day you start the class and the year we are in. And yes, of course. So... Um, if you can do that tomorrow or anyone else um, that is here right now, so you can please let me know if you've already finished the platform. So ask for the certificate if you have that problem and you see the certificate with a different date so we can go ahead and share the information through the WhatsApp group so I can notify that to the human resources and they can resolve it. Yes. All right. I so promise to do it tomorrow. All right. Thank you. So we already have like eight, two minutes, and we're still the same seven people. So if nobody comes, so it's going to be just seven of us today. So I think the oh. other ones are still on vacation. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what when you're on vacations, you just want to relax a little bit because sometimes working and working every single day, it makes you feel tired. So um, it's good to take, to relax sometimes, but yeah, I mean, so, so everybody's getting connected right now. So we're going up, now we're nine. So uh, how was the vacation, Katia, was it good? Hello teacher, yes. It was, was good. I right. was I was babysitting two oh. pets, oh. <laughs> a cat and a dog right. from my good friends, the 
they went to Mexico. Mexico. All right. <laughs> so do you like pets? They asked me. I, I, I take care. <laughs> All right. That's good. Pets. That's very very good. Was alone in their house. Oh my uh, God! So it was only you and the with, with the pets. All yeah. right, so that's good. Very good experience. All right, very, very good. So welcome to the other ones that just connected to this VR conference. Welcome one more time to this class. I'm so happy to see you back. We just have girls today. There's no boy, just me and just around girls. All right, so one got disconnected, apparently. We were 10, now we're going nine. So guys, um, apparently the other ones, they didn't come today. They're still on vacations. They don't want to come to the class, but it's okay. So we're going to start today with, uh, with the class. I hope you are ready for the new vocabulary that we're going to learn today. So for today we have, uh, it's gonna be for the vocabulary. Oh my God, you just have your own pet over there. Oh, wow, Katya. So cute. Oh my God. I love dogs. He's crying. He's crying. Oh. I don't know why. He's crying. Oh my God. Look at that cute. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh my God. He wants to be in the class. <laughs> yes. All right. So welcome, Eunice. I see you now. Welcome. Stephanie Roxana, Hi. Stephanie Ramirez, Claudia, Elizabeth, Reinaldo is connecting. Ana Yancy, Vasilia, welcome, Vasilia. Karen Melendez as well. So I'm so happy to see you all, guys. So we already have five minutes. So we are going to start with the class now because time is cold. So, all right. So for today, guys, we have a vocabulary that is going to be about geography. So today, we will see how much we will learn uh, probably new vocabulary that some of them, you probably already know them, but probably some words are going to be like kind of new for you. And probably the pronunciation is gonna be, it's gonna help you as well. So today we will have vocabulary about geography. So let's start with this. First of all, we need to know what geography is. So I might need some help. So any volunteer. I read Me teacher. Oh, no, and I answer, please. <laughs> All right, so, and I answer, do it, go ahead. Okay, what is geography? Geography is the study of places and the relationships between people and their environment. Thank you so much. So I, as you can see there is the, obviously geography it is every, pretty much everything that surround us. Yes, like the mountains, like the rivers, everything. You know, that's part of geography. So that's the main, um, the main meaning of this word. But today we will start with some uh, vocabulary. And this is the first part. Obviously the first part or the first word, it is geography, this desert. So I needed to, um, you know the, how do we say postre? Does any of you know? Yes, sir. So you, we gotta yes, be, sir. We gotta be careful with yes. this, the difference between the pronunciation of those two words, because they are pretty much the same when it comes to writing, and but when it comes to speaking, there's just a little change on that pronunciation. So this is yeah. dessert, and the other one, it is dessert, yes. okay? Yeah. Dessert, yes. the geography part, dessert, and the dessert. cake or, or, yeah, the K, let's say, is going to be dessert, okay? So that is going to be the difference. So let's go with the first one. Geography, desert, beach, 
island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, and cliffs. We are going to see one by one, so you are going to know what they are, because probably some of them, you recognize them and you have already heard them. So you know what that means, but some of them probably are going to be new for you. So we will try to find out here together. We will see what that is in like a little meaning of each one of the words, okay? So, but we are going to also practice our pronunciation. You know that I love doing that. So um, we're going to practice that. So welcome to the other ones. I already see Joaquin. I already see, let me see who else. Reinaldo, I already see him there. So welcome guys. There were just girls, but now I can I can see some boys, some some men over there. All right. So um, pay attention, please, to the pronunciation because I'm going to ask you later on. So be really careful with that. I will repeat it once again so you can pay attention to that. Geography, desert, Geography. beach, island. Be careful with that because most of the time students say Island or something like that, but it's not like that. We say island, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, and cliffs. So let me see. Um, I heard someone pronunciating. So let me see. Stephanie Ramirez, go ahead. Can you help me with that? Okay, teacher. Geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river stream, waterfall, delta, cliff. Thank you so much. Uh, Sandra, Maricelli, go ahead. Geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, Delta cliffs. Very good, Katya. Geography, desert, beach, Iceland, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, right, river. Well, oh, all right, river. Mm -hmm. River stream. Waterfall Delta Cliffs. Thank you, Reinaldo. Uh, geography, desert, beach, no. Iceland, no, no, no. iceberg. No, 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 stop it no. there. Remember the difference between desert and desert. What you were saying is apostre. What you said, you said apostre. You didn't say desert. So be careful with that. Desert. Es desierto. The search is el poster, all right? All right. The okay. desert. Desert, that's it's, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Desert. Beach, Iceland, iceberg, no, no, no. peninsula, forest. Stop, Stop no. it one more time. It's not Iceland. It is okay. island. Island. Oh. Island. All right. Island. One more time. Island. Okay. All over again. Island. I. Again. Geography. Desert. Beach. No. no, no Island. No. Iceberg. Not Reinaldo. The same pronunciation of that word. 
desert. It's not okay. the third. <laughs> One more time. I, it is it, is desert. Desert is the right desert? pronunciation when it comes to geography. And if you say desert, that is possible. Desert. Desert. Okay. Then the intonation is desert. Correct. Desert. Okay. Desert, beach, I, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, cliff. All right, Ana Yancy, please. Geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, cliffs. Thank you, Basilia. Geography, desert. No, 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 no. What you're saying desert. right now, you're telling me postre. And that is not what I want De you to tell me. Desert? No, still. <laughs> Who can help her? Uh, desert? Desert. 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 Correct. Desert. Uh, geography, desert, beach, island. No, no. Island. Uh, island, iceberg. Peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, cliff. Thank you. Joaquin. Okay, teacher. Geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, Forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, and cliff. Thank you. Stephanie Roxana. Geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, River, stream, waterfall, delta, cliff. All right, thank you. Eunice. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, clearly. Okay. okay. Um, geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean. Sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, and cliff. Thank you. Karen Melendez. Geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, cliff. Elizabeth Lopez. Yes. Geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, cliff. Okay. And the last one, Liliana Melendez. Geography, desert, beach, island, iceberg, peninsula, forest, rainforest, lake, ocean, sea, river, stream, waterfall, delta, cliff. All right. So the other ones that I didn't ask them for participation, I will need your help with each one of them that we are going to see later on. So it means Vilma Lisette, Claudia Rivas, Hernina Ines, and Charlie 
hopefully Charlie will say something today. So he will help us with the with the with the next ones we're going to do when we when I show you the meaning. Okay. These ones are another words that we also have. I know that some of you already know what they mean. So I'm just gonna say the pronunciation. And just in case you don't know what something means, let me know and I'll let you know, okay? So okay. I'm going to start with that. Continent, country, earth, hemisphere, geology, street map, mountain, jungle, latitude, map, marsh, north pole, oasis, ocean, one more time, I don't know why it is repeated, and asteroid. So I'm going to repeat it one more time, the pronunciation, continent, country, earth, hemisphere, geology, Street map, Geology. mountain, Street map. jungle, mountain. latitude, jungle. map, latitude. marsh, map. north map. pole, oasis, ocean, and star. So I'm going to ask right now for help. Uh, Charlie, are you there? Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. Help us. Continent, country, earth, hemisphere, geology, street map, mountain, jungle, latitude, map, marsh, north pole, oasis, ocean, estuary. Thank you so much, sir. Erlin Laines? Me, teacher. Oh, who said me? Who is me? Yes, Claudia. Claudia. All right, go ahead. Continent, country, earth, atmosphere, geology, street map, mountain, younger, latitude, map, Mars, North Pole, Oasis, Ocean, Swart. Swart. Thank you. Does any of you remember what I said about the TH letters? What's the pronunciation that we have to do when we have the TH letters together? Yeah. yeah. Yes. The sound is the Z. The letter Z, but in Spanish, like the sound that we do, but in Spanish, not in English. Because in Spanish, we say like, like just air going through your teeth. So we say earth with, that, with the letter Z at the end, all right? So Herlin Laines, are you there? Teacher, continent, country, earth, hemisphere, geology, street map, mountain, jungle, latitude, map, march, North Pole, Oasis, Ocean, Estuary. Thank you. Bill Molly said. Hello, Bilma. No, I think she's not there. So, Kayla Lopez. Continent, country, earth. Atmosphere, geology, street map, mountain, jungle, latitude, map, mark, north pole, Oasis, ocean. Sorry. All right. So, guys, any word that you don't know about this vocabulary? Or all of you already know the meaning of all of them. Yes. Teacher, what is what is the meaning of marsh? Marsh. That's that is pantano. Estuario. estuario is sorry is un estuario. 
In marsh, that is un pantano. Okay, marsh. thank you. All right. Any other word or someone else that doesn't know in the meaning of any of the words we have over there? Uh, what do you mean? Story. Story. That's un estuario. Sorry, teacher. Donde vemos eso? Estuario. That, 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 is, that is something that in El Salvador, it doesn't really exist, honestly. And the story, it's kind of that we call it a recife de coral. It's kind of like that, but, but with those little fishes, uh, when you go to a specific place and you see like kind of different type of fishes, that is kind of an story. But in El Salvador, we don't have that variety of, of or the environment in El Salvador is not that good. So we do not have that actually in El Salvador. Or does any of you know if we have an estuary in El Salvador? Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Um, I have to leave leave the, the meeting a little a little second because it was not a, a good hearing, you know. Oh, it, it's Listen, okay. It's, okay. It's sorry. okay. No, no problem. Okay. So I was now, I was asking if any of you knows that if we have an estuary here in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. thought, right? <laughs> really, I don't know what a story is. That's an, an estuario. That's, do you know what that is? No, right. Not even in Spanish, we don't know what that is. <laughs> no, I don't. And it is because we don't have that in our, in our environment. We do oh, not have that, let me see. Oh. In Haltepeque, where is that, Anayansi? Is that in El Salvador? Yes, teacher. Oh, for real? Okay. But there, That's there's, the Estuario is a place where there's a lot of fishes, right? Just for mm. everybody to understand that. No, it's not that? No, no, no. Estanques tenemos. We have st estanques. I don't know how the stank estanques in English is, but not estuario because I suppose that estuario is a, like like a, when we go to, for example, let me see, Ga like, Galveston, Galveston city in in Houston. It's, it's a, like like the specific type of uh, fishes where you go and there is a specific type of fishes like or different type of them. That's an estuario, a place mm. where uh, where people take care of those animals or in this case fishes. So that's an estuario, like in a very specific place. But we don't we do not have that in El Salvador. So this is just for you to we know don't. what that is. But we do not have that. Right, mm -hmm. so it says, all right, yes, it is actually a place. And Ayansi says that it is a place um, in Haltepeque. I don't even know where it's that located, but it's in El Salvador, apparently. All right, so we as Salvadorians, we don't even know our own culture sometimes, right? So it's kind of weird, but it is a real fact because sometimes we don't know uh, so many places of our, of our country. Okay, but let's move on with that. So, uh, no questions so far? All right, if there's no questions. Marsh? Marsh. What does it mean? Marsh. marsh, un pantano. Ah, pantano. All right. So, repeat the pronunciation in Hemisphere. Hemisphere. Hemisphere, okay. All right. Hemisphere. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, I will tell. So you will help me with the uh, with the meaning because we are going to see one by one of these ones. So we will see some pictures as well. So I will uh, I will say some names and keep the order in mind. So Stephanie Ramirez, number one. Basilia Monterosa, number two. Sandra Araceli, number three, Ana Yancy, number four, Ricardo Mancia, number five, Eunice, six, Joaquin, seven, Katia, eight, 
Eh, Stephanie Roxana Nine, Liliana, Liliana Melendez, 10, Karen, 11. All right, so keep your number because you will help me with each one of the words. Okay. All right, so number one, geography, number two, and so on and so on. So I wanna hear you. Geography, study of the earth. Thank you. Dessert? No, we're going to the same thing. It's not dessert. Des dessert? Desert. Desert. Mm -hmm. A dry place with little rainfall. All right. So as you can see, those little pictures, they show you what that is, but you already know some of the words. So next one. Beach. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Sandy land touching water. Touching water. No. Touch. Touching. No. Touching or touching water. Oh, teacher. Touching. Touching water. Touching. Touching water. Sandy land touching water. All right. So next one. Island. Land surrendered by water. Thank you. All right. Next one. Iceberg. Large ice floating in the ocean. Thank you so much. Peninsula. Land surrendered by water on two sides. So, guys, in this word, I know that it's going to sound like, oh, this is crazy, right? Because we know we know the word. In Spanish, we say peninsula. And that's how, the way we say it, peninsula. But when it comes to English, we have to make a little different accent. So it's going to be like a little sound that it will be a little bit different. So we do not have to say peninsula as in Spanish, right? So it's going to be like peninsula. So it's just the letter A that, that it comes like more fishy like you know like they have americans they have an intonation kind of that sometimes is kind of weird because like peninsula so they do not say peninsulas in spanish so just try to do that mm -hmm. and get used to the accent all right and thank you so next one Forest, large areas of tree where there is a hot and cold water, weather. 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 Okay. No, weather. In this case, it's es an exception. It is an exception where the letter T and the letter H do not sound as a letter Z. That it is that sound as a letter D. D as in Dios. All right. So we say weather. That's one of the exceptions. Weather. Okay. Uh, forest, as you can see on the red letters, is also called woods or woodlands. The same thing. So they are just synonym, synonyms, I'm sorry. All right, next one. Who's the next one? Hello, hello. Who is the next one? Did you forgot your number? Did you forget it? So, okay, the next one. Rainforest, large area of trees and places with warm weather. All right, very good. Next one. Lake, large area of rich water, surrounded by land. Large air area of fresh water surrounded by land. Okay, next one. The next one. 
Hello. Teacher, I will read because I have the last, the, the, the other list and I confused. All right, no problem. So go ahead. Like large area of fresh no. water. That one was already done. So the one below. What? Ocean. Ocean. Very large area of salt water. Very large area of salt water. Thank you. Next one. No. So I will say a name. Ana Yancy, go ahead. C. Area of salt water ocean are bigger. Thank you. Reinaldo. River. Water moving in curves from high to low places. Moving in curves from high to low places. All right. So let me see. Charlie, are you there? River water falling. Yes. Go ahead. Stream. Small river. Thank you. Hurling. Hurling. Yes. Uh, waterfall. River water folly from high place. All right. Kayla Lopez. Hello. All right, if she's not there, Sandra, go ahead and help me. Triangle shaped land made where big rivers break into smaller rivers at the mouth, where it where it flows into the ocean. All right. So uh, Liliana Melendez. Hi, Rock. All right. So any questions so far, guys? No questions? No. No. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Joaquin? Crater. Not teacher. OK. It is crater. It is what? There is here. All right, guys. So I, I don't know if anything. you if you can all you can anything? hear me, but but there's like kind of a problem. I don't know if you all can hear me. Can you all hear me like clearly? Say yes or no. I just wanna be sure. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. Okay, so if there is no questions, we are going to go to the breakout rooms. And I needed to take a picture of this or write it down. So you can have it at the moment you're going to be working with. Okay, okay. Okay. You cannot hear Sandra or what's the problem? Is there? I can't hear anything. Oh. Oh my gosh, you cannot hear. Sam. All right. So you ready to take the picture? You did? Yes. All right. So if you already did it, ask me if you don't understand the the. Do you understand that? Like for example, in number two, it says. Give two live examples of the vocabulary. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Dos ejemplos vivos. Like, for example, ahí tienes. La palabra que vimos en el vocabulario era ocean. Los dos ejemplos vivos que tenemos de ocean es Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. Yes? Do you understand that? Clear. Okay. So let's go now to the breakup rooms. 
C. All right. So we are 17 today. Let me see. Um, we're going to group for groups of four. Let's see. Yeah, groups of four. So we're going to be working on that, guys. You will have, let me see, 39. The mass, you will have seven minutes to work on that. So please go ahead and join your groups. Hello, Bilma, you had a problem? Hello, Bilma, can you hear me? Hello, Bilma. Dilma, hello, are you there? Is each one of the groups using some words of the vocabulary? Oh, okay. And the number two says, uh, give two live examples of the vocabulary. For example, Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. What is the meaning of ocean or 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 what? Uh, no, the live example. No, no, let me let me let me explain your Sally. That's that's the live example. So you remember that on the vocabulary we saw the word ocean, right? Yes. So of course. The, the two live examples that we have on Earth, it is Pacific mm -hmm. Ocean and Atlantic Ocean. Mm-hmm. Yes. And for example, Azaguate and Rio Grande River. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's what I want. So you suppose you have another classmate here, but she didn't join. So I don't know what's going on over there. So keep on working I, first. Okay. Yes. I have to I have to leave the meeting because I didn't hear anything, teacher. That's why. Oh, I didn't really? hear you. Yeah, that's why I didn't know what you wanted us to do. All right. But, so, well, now I understand. Yeah. All right. Great. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, um, besides um, the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean, there are so many oceans. Each one. For the group. Excuse me. Can <laughs> you repeat it? Is the each one for for the group? Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. But I refer the sentence that you say that Stephanie. No, I didn't say anything. I, uh, uh. <laughs> Congratulations, guy. I see that you're practicing your English in the breakup rooms. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, teach. El tonco pitch. Um. 
two sentences, right? Yes. Uh, the partner Ricardo writes in the WhatsApp all other sentences. Thank you guys for practicing your English in the breakout rooms. That's very good. I'm just checking around. Only number two. Number two. I went to be in the vacation. What? Repeat, please. I, I went to beach uh, San Diego. <laughs> How do you say uh, San Diego beach or beach San Diego? No, San Diego beach. San Diego beach. Mm -hmm. In this vacation. Okay. Only. Uh huh. Ready. And the other partner, yes. I don't know what what uh, they sing. Liliana, is she's working with you guys? No. She is a teacher. In this vacation, I stay in my house. Any question that you might have, guys? Everything is clear? I don't have a question. Perfect. Joaquin, do you have? Excuse me. <laughs> you repeat it, Karen. I don't. And, uh, the Lempa River is in three countries. Are you about to finish, girls? Guys, no? Yes? Almost. To leave, example is oh. is for the vacation Cali. For the vacation. For the vacation. And we have. Ah, and we have lakes. Lakes. What? For lake. Are you about to finish? <laughs> about finishing. Yes. In the other. Uh, right. So. Lempa and, and Grande. Lempa and Grande. And Grande. I don't know. Grande. Mm -hmm. Ah, big, big river. <laughs> but Are you, big rivers. You but don't it, have to translate because it's a proper name. No, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. We don't have to. We don't have to. Grande. You ready? Finish, guys. Yes. Yes. Right. Perfect. Yes. Bye, partner.
teacher, the microphone is off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I thought I was it was on. I'm sorry, my bad. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. So uh, as you notice on the on the practice, so each one of you had to create like two examples. So each one of you will let me know the example. So I will take your name and keep in mind your number, okay? So number one, Joaquin. Number two, Katia. Number three, Sandra Araceli. Number four, Basilia. Number five, Eunice. Number six, Stephanie Roxana. Number seven, Stephanie Ramirez. Number eight, Ana Yancy. Number nine, Ricardo Mancilla. Number 10, Herling. 11, Liliana Melendez. 12, Karen Melendez. 13, Charlie. 14, Claudia. And the last one, but not least one, Reynald. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um, the first sentence is, Lempa River is the most large river in El Salvador. And okay. Two, Lempa River is the most large river in the in El Salvador. Number two, Cuatepeque Lake is the most beautiful lake in El Salvador. Okay. Example. Mm -hmm. Example. We visit the Costa del Costa del Sol Beach in vacation. We went San Diego Beach on weekend. All right, very good. So next one. Okay. Only two sentences, sentences teacher. The two sentences and the two live examples. Okay. Joaquin did it like kind of a little different, but it was good. So if you do not have the two live examples, it's okay. Just tell me what you have. Because I, we have with my group mm -hmm. and make only this one make uh, two examples, example, but in the second activity only one example. So it's okay. Just go ahead and, okay. and I, tell I me what you have. Read, I want to read my example. Uh, number one, the Cuatepec Lake has a small islands. Two, Monte Cristo has very large forests, and the uh, the live, live, live exam, live work with All my right. group doing Quatepec and Guija Lakes. Very good. Okay, Lenta next one. And Grand River. Very good. Thank you. Sandra. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Atlantic Ocean is colder than Pacific Ocean. If you are in the Pacific Ocean, don't forget to stop in Nacajutla, El Salvador. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> and about uh, lakes too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Coatepeque Lake uh, changes its its color of water sometimes in a sometimes a year. Once a year. Okay. Uh -huh. Perfect. Yeah. Who is the next one? Thank you, Sandra. Okay. Uh, Basilia. Go uh, ahead, Basilia. I practice for the, uh, the isla, El Conejo. Okay. Uh, uh, the river, Lempa River. Okay. Uh, beach, Costa del Sol. All right. And in the sentences, uh, right. Uh, in El Salvador, the best place to surf is El Tunco Beach. Very good. Okay. Okay, the next one. <laughs> next one. The sentence number one is the impossible forest is a wonderful place. And the second is I live in El Salvador, a beautiful country. And the live examples are American and Asian are beautiful continents. Very good. Who's the next one? 
which number go teacher uh so i don't remember exactly your number but i think it's you uh, yes i think well and so what they used to be is a river in el salvador in Lempa is the most popular river in the country. And the life examples in Azerwate and Lempa are river. And let me see. I don't know what is. Okay, is that it? That's it. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Next one. Okay, the example. Uh, beaches of El Salvador are beautiful. Coatepeque Lake is a wonderful place. The Lampa River in, is in three country. Cristo Negro Forest is cold. And the exercise, second exercise, and Lampa and Huascoran River. Very good, very good. So the next one. Who's the next one? Um, I don't know if I, uh, I don't know, but I can continue. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, la primera podría decir, eh, the Cuatepec Lake is the most famous in the Salvador. And, and the other one is, um, in the second era de, de hacer una oración, verdad? Um, I think the I going to visit to my parents and they live in the small island in the ocean, in the Pacific Ocean. No sé si se entiende algo así. All right, it was kind of, kind of understandable. I don't know if the idea that you were trying to say it was clear, but it's, it was kind of understandable. Okay. So thank you for your participation. Who is the next one? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, River, River Lempa. And San Diego Beach. Okay. And the uh, sentences I went to be, and I went to San Diego Beach in this vacation. And the Lempa River is the most largest uh, river in El Salvador. Okay, thank you. Karen Melendez, go ahead. Okay, teacher. In the sentences Arctic Ocean is the smallest on the earth. The waterfalls of Suchitoto are beautiful, and the beach in the Salvador are wonderful. Thank you so much. And, and the Cristo Negro forest is cold, and the Pacific Ocean is the only ocean in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Claudia Rivas, thank you, Karen. Of the Arribas. You there? No problem. I can hear that you're having problems with your internet, so there is no problem. So, Erlin, Erlin Laines. Yes, teacher. The sentence, the Lempa River is the longest in El Salvador. In the second exercise, the vocabulary, uh, Iceland, Conejo Iceland, Zacatillo Iceland, and Lake, Ilopango Lake, Guatepeque Lake. Very good. Charlie? Charlie? 
entirely. Well, okay, last one, Ana Yancy Orellana. Ana Yancy. Hello, hello. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, in my group, only only two sentences, but uh, one sentence is Nile River, the largest in the world. Okay. Is that is that all you have? Uh, an example: uh, La Paz River in El Salvador uh, was Coran river and Ilopango Lake. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, guys. It's already nine with two minutes, almost three minutes. So the last thing that I want to tell you, uh, if you already finished the platform, congratulations to you. So I also wanted to thank the ones that already finish the platform. If you haven't finished yet, please try to do it on this week because this is our 11 class. So we just have five more classes and the module will be done. So in order for you to go to the next level, it's very important that you finish the platform uh, like two or three days ahead of the deadline, okay? So please try to work on that, guys. And it was a pleasure for me to be with you one more time. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So have a Thank good you. night and take care of yourself. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Blessed night.